Israel's president saying the country is ready for another humanitarian pause in the fighting. President Isaac Herzog says Israel wants to bring home more hostages, but that the responsibility lies fully with the leadership of Hamas. This comes as Hamas has announced one of its top leaders is in Cairo to hold talks with Egyptian officials about the war. ABC's Inez de la Quattara joins me now from Tel Aviv, Israel, for more on this. And as Israeli defense forces say that they will still operate deep in Gaza during, quoting here, the next stage in the fighting. So what more do you know about this next stage and what's the latest on this possible ceasefire? Yeah, so when it comes to the ceasefire, interesting comments there from the Israeli President Isaac Herzog, who, like you say, mentioned that uh, Israel was open to a second humanitarian pause here to secure the release of additional hostages and to allow for more aid to get in. Uh, we also heard from Hamas recently. They are continuing to say that there will be no prisoner negotiations for as long as the war continues. But at the same time, they say they are open to any initiative that would bring an end to the aggression. The Israelis say the responsibility now lies squarely with Hamas. They're essentially waiting for an answer from Hamas and specifically from uh, Hamas leader in Gaza, Yahya Sinwar. And like you say, uh, today the uh, Hamas leader Haniye arrived in Cairo for talks there with the Egyptian uh, officials, intelligence officials there. So it appears that they are showing a willingness to negotiate. And on the flip side, we do know that the uh, head of Israel's intelligence service is also meeting with the Qataris in uh, Warsaw together with the uh, CIA director Bill Burns. The first round of talks that were held uh, were held in Doha. That's what led to that first temporary truce that we saw that led to the release of over uh, 100 hostages. The second round of talks is now being held in Europe. So a little bit of momentum there. Uh, but there were some reports, unconfirmed reports at this point, um, but reports that Israel had offered a week-long ceasefire in exchange for the release of at least 40 hostages, that the hostages that are being discussed would be uh, the remaining women, elderly men, and uh, hostages who are seriously injured or sick. That is all uh, unconfirmed at this point. But again, it does appear like there's a little bit of momentum when it comes to these negotiations. Now, and as the Palestinian Islamic Jihad released a video yesterday of two Israeli hostages pleading for their release, Prime Minister Netanyahu is already facing growing pressure from families there to bring the rest of the hostages home. So how does that factor into negotiations currently underway uh, about releasing hostages and again about this potential ceasefire? Yeah, I mean, it's putting a lot of pressure on the Israeli government. I think that pressure really started uh, over the weekend when we saw, we learned of those three Israeli hostages who were accidentally killed by members of the IDF. That set off all sorts of protests here in Tel Aviv, thousands taking to the streets. The families of the hostages were among them, some of them camping out outside of the IDF's headquarters, calling for the Israeli government to do more to get back to the negotiating table. And then, uh, like you say, these hostage videos who were released, that were released yesterday. So there was one from the Islamic Jihad show two Israeli men calling on the Israeli government to, to do more to secure their release. And then Hamas also releasing a video of, uh, of another three hostages, three elderly men who appeared thin and they had long beards and they were also talking about uh, how, how the, the government needs to do more to, to bring them home. So that is all putting a lot of uh, pressure on the Israeli government. That might be why we're seeing this, uh, what appears to be, you know, some movement there. I will say that we did hear from the Israeli prime minister just moments ago and he, uh, you know, said that there would be no... no no, the, the war would not end, essentially. He says they're, they're, they're not going to stop fighting Hamas. Uh, they're going to continue going after their goals to eliminate Hamas. That would appear to be in contradiction with these, you know, uh, reports of, of Israel considering a ceasefire. At the same time, last time, when prior to that first truce, uh, we had been hearing similar rhetoric from the Israelis. They were saying, you know, even as they were discussing a truce, they were talking about how they would still uh, go after their goals of eradicating Hamas. All right, Inez de la Quattara in Tel Aviv, Israel. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.